cult leaders convicted of forcing children to work 16-hour days without pay. Five men and three wives of Royale Jenkins face criminal charges of conspiracy and forced labor. Investigators say children were sent to businesses all over the country to work for free. The defendants promoted the idea that the victims owed a duty to Allah, which meant working at a UNIO business. The defendants convinced the victims that if they did not comply with the rules, including performing their, quote, duty, or if they left UNIO, they would burn in an eternal hellfire or experience tragedy. We're not talking about that cute lemonade stand on the corner or the kid that wants to work a few hours after school to buy the new pair of sneakers or get the new video game. We're talking hard labor, blue collar, double shifts, some of the like some adults haven't seen in their entire lives. There's a lot to be appalled about here. But let's start with how these kids weren't taken. These kids weren't kidnapped. They were given. They were permitted to be treated in such a fashion by their parents. So no, there was not enough jail time given out for me and there were definitely not enough people going to jail because being a fool isn't a crime, but it damn sure should be sometimes. Six members of a Kansas-based cult have been convicted in a scheme to house children in overcrowded, rodent-infested facilities and force them to work up to 16 hours a day without pay. That's 10 more hours than your baby daddy would ever work, sorry, while subjecting them to beatings and other abuse. The defendants were either high-ranking members of the organization, formerly known as the United Nation of Islam and the Value Creators, or were wives of the late founder, Royale Jenkins, the U.S. Department of Justice said Monday in announcing the verdict. There's a lot on the UNOI and Royale Jenkins on YouTube. I'll leave a link or two down in the description. After a 26-day trial, jurors convicted all six defendants of conspiracy to commit forced labor. One of the six, Kaaba Majid 50, also was convicted of five counts of forced labor. They didn't come outside. If The only way that we saw any of the kids was if the girls were doing some drill out here in front. The UNOI isn't necessarily an unfamiliar term to me because several years ago there was a documentary where one of the children, a couple of the children came forward, but one of them specifically said that they were splitting the siblings apart during this child trafficking, this child labor pipeline. And one of them might be in Baltimore, one of them might be in Newark. And the only time you would hear how your sibling is doing is through somebody else that was moving through the pipeline also. Under the guise of false pretenses and coercion let me translate for you their parents were idiots who were swindled and hoodwinked into giving their children freely to these monsters these victims some of whom were as young as eight years old endured inhumane and abhorrent conditions fbi special agent stephen cyrus said in a written statement prosecutors said the group which was labeled a cult by a federal judge in 2018 beat children and imposed severe dietary restrictions one of the victims was held upside down over train tracks because he would not admit to stealing food when he was hungry prosecutor said another victim resorted to drinking water from a toilet because she was so thirsty jenkins who died in 2021 had been a member of the nation of islam until 1978 when he founded the separate united nation of islam so let's make this very clear they are not part of the nation of Islam and they were never part of the nation of Islam. He persuaded his followers that he was shown the proper way to rule the earth after being taken through the galaxy by aliens on a spaceship, according to the indictment. At one point, the group had hundreds of followers. I'm the one that everybody's expecting to come, although they don't believe it. <laughs> Jenkins claimed that in approximately 1978, he was abducted by angels who transported him through the galaxy in a spaceship and instructed him how to rule on Earth. When he hit the part about the aliens, he didn't lose any of you? When he hit the part about the, the extraterrestrials taking him up in a spaceship, you didn't realize the emperor wasn't wearing any clothes, grabbed your child and got the hell out of there? Because religion alone can make someone a cult, but aliens definitely make things a cult. Prosecutors said that beginning in October, 
October 2000, the organization ran businesses such as gas stations, bakeries, and restaurants in several states using unpaid labor from group members and their children. They built a whole organization on the backs of minors. Parents were encouraged to send their children to an unlicensed school in Kansas City, Kansas, called the University of Arts and Logistics of Civilization, which did not provide appropriate instruction in most subjects. Yeah, you teach the children how to serve you and obey you and nothing else. You don't want them getting too smart, do you? Instead, some of the child victims worked in businesses in Kansas City, while others were trafficked to businesses in other states, including New Jersey, New York, Ohio, Maryland, Georgia, and North Carolina, the indictment alleges. So if you are a parent that was dumb enough to give your child to this cult even if you wanted to visit them afterward you don't even know if they're in kansas city anymore they could be in any one of these states in any one of these cities and i highly doubt that the organization would give updates on the child's whereabouts to people who were outside of the organization prosecutors said the children lived in overcrowded facilities often overrun with mold mice and rats there were strict rules about what they could read how they dressed and what they ate some were forced to undergo colonics punishments for a child that's already underweight colonics is deadly punishments included being locked in a dark frightening basement prosecutors said they were told they would burn an eternal hellfire if they left using religion as a control mechanism there's something we don't see every day in may 2018 u.s judge daniel crabtree called the group a cult and ordered it to pay eight million dollars to a woman who she said spent 10 years performing unpaid labor 10 years sentencing hearings are set for february in the Child labor case. The convictions carry sentences of up to 20 years in prison for Majid and up to five years for the other defendants. The only thing that I could think of that would be making these sentences so damn weak is the fact that they didn't kidnap these kids, that these kids were given to them. Eunice Rasul, 39, James Staten, 62, Randolph Rodney Hadley, 49, Daniel Aubrey Jenkins, 43, and Dana Peach, 60. Email seeking comment were sent to Tuesday to attorneys for all six defendants, two other co-defendants previously pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit forced labor. So that makes eight people, but they were running this organization out of at least six states. How do you come up with only eight people? That's what's puzzling me about this. There you have it, folks, the UNOI. I am surprised one of these children didn't grow up to find one of these members to put a bullet in their skull. Tell me what you think. See you in the next video.